Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have uh, Marvel's The Hood, uh, super, uh, super Villains Wave. Uh, so let's go over to packaging here. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo on top here, and we get the uh, Super Villains logo here, and then Marvel's The Hood, and then, oh, my tripod about fell. Let me fix that real quick. Alright, and then we get a side art of the hood there. Nothing on top. Same side art here. Here's the back with that same side art. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Uh, and then you have the Marvel Legends logo on top. And then here we are building Ximinu. Ximinu? I don't really know how to pronounce the name. And it comes with the uh, Doctor Doom, um, Dormammu, the hood, uh, Lady Deathstrike. Arcade, Red Skull, and an uh, AIM Scientist Supreme. And then here's the bomb with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's the hood out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Ximinu's, uh left leg here. And then uh, we got two of these pistols here, which we've seen before. So yeah. And then they're completely black. Uh, you get some nice texturing there for the grip. But yeah. Looks really good. And then, um, so yeah, we get two of those. And then we get these really cool blasting effects here. Uh, so there's like a little hole here that you would plug into your uh, gun. And then it has this like orange piece here that has blasting out. And then uh, flames spiral ring, spiral ring. So to demonstrate how to put that on. So you just want to plug that in just like that. And boom. You got, it. oh, and it falls down. There we go. I think that's better. But yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah, we get two of those effects. But besides that, that's what we got for accessories. Um, so yeah, so this hood comes off here. So we'll go over this real quick too. Uh, so yeah, we get this hood here. It has really nice texturing here. Kind of looks like cloth. Feels like cloth too. Uh, you get the nice wrinkles ripped down at the ends, and you get this hood here with the little peak in the back. You get these golden things that are supposed to hold on to them. But yeah, there's that. And then we got the hood's face sculpt here. I don't know his actual name, sorry. Um, but yeah, he's just screaming. He looks a little cockeyed because his left eye is one look towards the left. Uh, nice blue eyes though, but very, this eye right here looks cockeyed. Uh, the hair looks good. Um, teeth, facial expression looks good. The cockeyed thing is weird. And I believe this is the same body sculpt as Stan Lee's. And they just basically repainted the body sculpt, I believe. So, yeah. We get the white shirt here. You get the jacket here that's blue. Uh, it has some nice texturing here at the ends. Uh, you get gun holding hands for him. Same hands we've seen before. And then you get these green pants here. You get the belt here with gold buckle. And you get brown shoes. But besides that, that's all we got for the looks really here. Uh, so let's go over articulation. So his head can hinge down that far. Up that far, he can look left and right. Pretty good head pivoting there. Uh, shoulders can move up a little past 90 degrees. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Um, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, still have the pin, I meant, uh, uh, pin holes there, um, peg holes, I mean, uh, wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there, uh, he has an ab crunch, so you can go forward just that far, backwards just that far, the jacket gets in the way, he has a waist swivel that makes him go 360 around there, legs can kick out just that far, forward, Pretty good amount. Backwards, none. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Still got the peg holes there. You can do a butt kick. Um, and then his ankles can hinge down that far. Oh, I don't like these. I don't think this one's gonna move. Does this one wanna move? Yeah, so up that far. And he has a nice ankle pivot. So yeah, I think this is a cool figure. Uh, the only downside I think is, is that he's not really able to hold like stand up by himself. He's kind of using the hood as a little support for him. 
Uh, I don't like these like legs for him or the shoes, I mean, uh, because I feel like they will break on me. Um, the hood wants to stand up a little bit on him, uh, so it looks a little weird. But besides that, I would really like the effects here for the gun blast effects. Um, and then the cape looks nice. I wish there was a peg and a peg hole in the, on his back so it stays, you know, secure. Uh, but it doesn't. So uh, that's a little frustrating. But besides that, really cool figure. Not the best figure. Uh, not the worst figure, I don't think, either. But, um, yeah. Uh, I do recommend getting them to build Zimanu, But figure-wise, he's okay. Uh, make sure you guys check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. I'm going to be streaming Resident Evil again soon. The Crew 2 with my friends, Warzone, and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you guys check that out. But besides that, that's all I got.